So here's my new Lego puzzle box. But how do you get in? Well, this is just a little mini puzzle box. And, uh, oh, hang on, what's here? This looks like somewhere we can get in. Ah, by looking at that hole, we actually activate this piece here. So uh, clearly we must just push this into the hole. No, that doesn't seem to work. Uh, let's have a little bit more of a look around this puzzle box. Hmm. Well, hang on. This looks like it might go. No, you can't push that in. Ah, I don't know. Maybe there's some sort of a secret sliding panel. So if we actually just slide this piece here, it actually pushes this piece out. So now we'll slide this back and maybe this will go in here. And yes, it does, it fits. So now we still don't have our money. So now we use the arrow, push it in, and out pops our Lego money. So to reset this, we just need to push the money back in. We take this one out, we push this one back here. We push that down there and we pop it in there. And that is the Lego Mini Puzzle Box. Stay tuned to see how it's made. So let's do this. Okay, so let's see how this Lego Puzzle Box is made. We'll just take off some of these tiles at the top. And this is just a little motif that I've done just to make it interesting. There's obviously a question mark. So we'll just do that. We've just got three 2x4 plates at the top here. So we'll just use the tool here to extract it out. And you'll see what's inside. So inside we have a couple of different little sections. Here's the main channel. And we also have a little side channel here. And this is where the 1x3 tile actually sits. Now it can't go anywhere because of this tile. Now the way we load it up is we just get out some money and the money goes in here. The little 1x2 tile sits in there and that's just the hole. So that's the configuration. Now as you see here, we actually turn this here and it actually pushes this little tile. And when we turn it back, we can now slide this down here. But because it's a 1x3, it's not quite enough to get the money out. And that's where this little arrow comes in. So we push that back in and we see that the money drops out. So to reload it, you push the money back in and then you push the thing back to here level, slide this back in and the puzzle box is complete. So let's have a look at this little thing here. So I've just used a 1x2 jump plate. And, and because these tiles have got no stud holders in the back, it actually slides around quite nicely. So when that's in place there, it actually can slide right around. Now you obviously don't want to slide it all the way. You just want enough so it pushes out this tile. Now the rest is fairly self-explanatory. You've just got a few plates at the bottom here, some 2x4s, some 1x4s, and there's a couple of 1x2s. Then you're just using tiles so everything slides around nicely. So let's go ahead and reset this, and we'll put the lid back on top. Now this can go on any way. And I prefer to do it this way. Okay. So that is the Lego Puzzle Box. Pretty cool, hey? Please like and subscribe. And bye for now.